Hello. We just finished the boot camp tonight session and it was pretty amazing. Got to say thank you to everybody that turned up today to start off a February boot camp and pretty much hit it in big style uh, to really turn up that metabolic uh, fat burning furnace which is how we achieve fat loss after our work workouts. Um, a lot of people tend to... Uh, <laughs> I need a shave, by the way. I'm going to get a shave tonight. A lot of people will tend to um, do their workouts and expect to burn um, you know, their body fat off in the workout itself. Thing is, a lot of people are doing the actual run workouts and they're doing the slow, steady-state cardio, which is burns off the calories as you're doing it but as soon as you stop you're not going to burn off any more calories and the thing that you want to do in workouts is to increase your metabolism and you do that by working out re you know, really hard uh, and not doing like long boring cardio that lasts further than 45 minutes and after that workout itself you're going to keep burning um, you're going to keep burning more calories and burning off that body fat percentage after the workout which is pretty neat stuff that you want to achieve. In fact, in our boot camp workouts, um, we increase our metabolic rate by um, well for the next 48 hours. It's on a you know a real high burner, which is pretty cool. Um, and way to do that is to start doing more um, resistance-based exercises. We call it metabolic resistance training at boot camp, where it might be and ladies work. You know they respond really well to this. Is uh, body weight exercises, things like squats, push-ups, um, and lunges. Fellas work really well with this as well, but because they tend to have more testosterone, adding like a kettlebell or a resistance band into that workout works really effective for them as well. So doing these exercises can really, really work for you to burn off that uh, body fat percentage. Now I've just finished watching The Biggest Loser, which is a, a load of pants. Now a lot of people are, are really hyped up about it at the moment, especially this time of the year when people want to achieve um, you know more fat loss results. Uh, and are you one of those people as well that have? set your new year's resolution and have stuck to it um, one thing that we do at boot camp is we set goals but then we go get goals we don't just set the goal we call it goal getting um, and goal getting all it takes is basically setting your goal but then you mix it with taking action putting the two together you've got yourself goal getting which is a lot more 10 times more powerful than just setting a goal um, so that's what we're really big on at camp um, so what do I want to, yeah the biggest loser um, now a lot of them, the, 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 they've got a lot of weight to lose um, and we perceive it as weight loss but really what we want, we're not bothered about the scales as people look at them, what we want to be more concerned with is, um, is the inches that we're going to be losing, dropping the dress sizes, losing the weight around our, our waist, our hips, our chest, our legs, that sort of area the bingo wings as well, uh, getting it from there as well, we want to burn off that body fat percentage um, and get the inches away. So it's not necessarily the weight on the scales that we're interested in, it's the inches. These people on Biggest Loser, all they're concerned with is, is uh, the pounds that are coming off the scales, not taking into account the inches that they're losing. This is what's actually happening with them. The the trainers are uh, putting their guys into really quite advanced workouts. Uh, some cool bits of kit in there as well, like the power bags and things like that. I absolutely you know, love to use those sort of things as well because they're a great variety of exercises um, that I'd love to, you know, to, I'd use with my clients as well. Uh, the thing is though, these people have got a lot of weight to lose. So things like losing five, six pounds in a week, that ain't a lot. And to be honest, it's the wrong type of exercise that they're doing, um, being so high intensity for their weight itself or the way that their bodies are reacting to it um, and it puts a lot more stress on their body and stress is a big um, a big reason why we put on weight as well um, it's the release of cortisol that sends so much sugar into the body that gets stored into the body as well um, and another thing as well they're working out and they're using their muscles and they're actually developing muscle as they do that so Let's say if you know over the course of the next three months, I was to take away ten pounds of fat from your body, and at the same time give you ten pounds of muscle on the scales, you still say the same. But because that ten pounds of muscle is a lot smaller than the ten pounds of fat that occupies more room on your body, and it pads you out, 
but they weigh the same, this stuff is going to give you more inches, this fat is going to give you more inches, whereas this slimline muscle is going to be a lot more slimmer on your body and holding nice and taut and tight, um, but they weigh exactly the same. So these guys are the biggest loser. Um, you're not burning, you know, you're not seeing as much on the scouts, but it's not taking into account the muscle that they're putting onto the body, and they will be doing that because the exercise, the resistance exercise that they're doing, they certainly will be putting on muscle, which is fantastic because you're putting muscle on your body. Muscle's the only tissue that is going to burn fat um, when you're resting, basically. One pound of muscle per day on approximately is going to burn 50 calories. So take that 10 pounds of muscle that I've just put on your body. That's now 500 calories that you're burning off each and every day for doing nothing at all other than the maintenance of that muscle. Just resting, you're burning off those calories, which is pretty neat. Anyway, that's me for today. I've got to show you this because it's horrendous and I am going to shave it off. But that was me about five years ago. What happened? <laughs> Stay open.